Hello everyone. Today we have a really cool cooling tip, <laughs> cool cooling tip for our Mazda RX-7 FD. And let me tell you, it is a really good one. Now I learned this information from Cam with Pettit Racing. And let me tell you, Cam and Pettit Racing have been doing RX-7s for decades. They've been making products, working on RX-7s, and also racing and testing those products in real world situations, which is epic. So neat, make sure to go check out the website. All right, so if you know about the RX-7, you know that the cooling system is one of those that you usually have to upgrade or make sure that you stay on top of. It's almost one of those things right when you buy the RX-7 you have to address or hopefully somebody has already addressed that. So the RX-7 has two fans, but they're a little bit complicated and that's because they have three settings. The fan starts to trigger itself based on certain things. And one of those things is a the thermal sensor. We just made a video how to replace the coolant thermal sensor and that was a pain in the butt. We put a Mazda FC thermal sensor on the FD. Watch that video if you're curious why we did that and how hard it was because it was a pain in the butt. Now the car kicks on the fan at medium close to, and I could be a little off, but around 200 plus or minus uh, degrees and that is too hot. And the reason why they did that was because around this time, emissions was going crazy. So they wanted the RX-7 to run hot because when the engine ran a lot hotter, that meant that there was less emissions. But if you really think about that, when an engine runs really hot, things start to degrade and things start to break down and it's not good for the engine. Engines like to be cool, just like me, right? Anyways, so, the car sets the fan around medium when really it should be on high. That's why I put the FC thermal switch. But a lot of times that is not enough and you need to do extra cooling modification. Now, when I was talking with Cam, he broke off a piece of knowledge and advice that I kept on kind of thinking about it for like a week. And I was like, OMG, it makes sense. After the Mazda FD came out, Mazda came out with a recall where you brought in your RX-7, they put an extra harness where the fan relay is at, and what it did is when you turn off the car, the fans would come on. And Cam said that that really doesn't fix the issue with overheating the engine as far as keeping those temps constrained in there. Now, when I mean overheating, you're probably thinking of blowing a radiator cap or a hose and all the way to the red. What I mean by overheating in this situation is by keeping that heat in the engine and essentially cooking it when you stop the car. So Mazda, what they did was they put in a relay system to turn on the fans while you took the key off, locked the car and walked away and left them running for 10 minutes. But with Cam's awesome racing history, he was telling me that when they would come in from the racetrack in Daytona, they could actually see the manifold and the turbos hot. And even with the fan running full blast, they were still glowing hot. And he said that after the fans ran for about 30 seconds or so, and they turned on the car for another 10 to 15 seconds and turned them off, they finally saw the components start to cool down. The car started to actually cool down. And the reason why is because while the fans were on for about 30 seconds, that coolant right there in the radiator was being cooled, but it wasn't moving. So what he was saying, and this is in my opinion, like duh, is when you turn on the car for another 10 seconds, you take that cool coolant that's been getting cooled in front of the radiator and you cycle it over and then you pretty much transfer the hot coolant that was in the engine back over and then you turn off your car. And he said when he was starting to do that, he started to see less turbo failures and a lot less issues when it came to the heating issue in the engine bay. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's genius. So what do I do now? I stop and it's like only like less than a minute type of thing. Wherever I'm at, I stop, I turn off the car, I let the, the fans run for about, I don't know, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever time you have. And then I turn on the car again for like another quick 10 seconds and then I turn it off. And that is a cooling secret from one of the most knowledgeable and experienced individuals in the RX-7 game. So I wanted to share that with you guys because not only did I think that was cool, but it makes sense. 
and that's all what counts to me. All right, guys, well, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Stay tuned because we're doing all RX-7 here and GTR and NSX and other things. All right, guys, thank you for watching. You stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you soon.